Hi, welcome to Keeping It Simple, a ministry from Calvary Chapel by the Truth in Watsonville, California. My name is Marty Rodriguez. I will be your host throughout most of these videos. In this ministry, we try to answer questions about the Bible or about Christianity using the Bible and we try to keep it as simple as possible using one or two verses. Try not to get too uh, complicated that way anybody and everybody can understand it. So today we got a question that is a little bit odd but it's a, it's a question anyhow. And the question is who is in hell now? Or is there anybody in hell right now? Well, we're going to look at the Bible to get the answer to that. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go look at a verse in the Bible. We're going to look at Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. To get our answer and I'm gonna put that verse up on the screen for you and that way you could uh, read it for yourself and study it again the verse is Revelation 20 verse 10 so I'm gonna put that up on the screen for you right now and I'll be right back As we see in that verse, that first of all, it's in the book of Revelation. And depending on how you look at Revelation, some people look at it as just symbolic, more, more likely symbolic. And some people look at it as something that it already happened, that what it talks about is, is in the past. And some people look at it as it's in the future. I look at it in the way that I understand it, study it. It's talking about future events. So that will be another video where we will dive into that. But for, for now, we look at it as future events. So in Revelation chapter 20, verse 10, it says, The devil who deceived them was cast into a lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night forever. So it's saying that the devil is going to be cast into the lake of fire and where the beast and the false prophet is. So has that happened? Has the beast or the false prophet been here on earth or is it something in the future? And if it is something in the future, they're gonna get the beast and the false prophet are gonna be the first two to get cast into hell and after that the devil will the, the unholy trinity will be cast into hell first then they be read on to like verse uh, 14 which I'll let you study on your own so it said those who were not found written in the book of life were cast in the lake of fire. So those are the people that were following or didn't believe or chose not to choose Christ. But you know you can study that for yourself. But to answer the question who is in hell now? Right now the way that the Bible 
says it, Bible, that um, it's getting prepared or it's empty right now until the beast and the false prophet and the devil is cast in there. Then after that, all those who either follow him, um, meaning Satan, or the unholy trinity, all those who follow them, all those who chose not to believe in Christ or accept them, uh, those that they're going to be cast into hell. So to answer the question, who is in hell now? Nobody. No, nobody's in hell right now, according to uh, the book of Revelations. I know sometimes we hear, oh, in hell, they this and that. Um, no, there's not anybody that I could read in there yet. They can be in another place called Hades or death. And that's a whole different subject, whole different topic. But hell itself, the lake of fire, it's, um, empty at the moment so and that's not a place that we want to go to uh, we don't want we're not going to go there if we believe in Christ and we accept the Christ in our lives and we live for Christ and we study the word and put the word in us to live with us we do not need to fear hell so I challenge you this week to to find a good church a good church that teaches the bible join it and and not only join it but but accept christ into your life and start on the that one-to-one -one intimate relationship with christ and he will set you free from all your sins and you will you be free from from fear of going to hell but that that requires a commitment from you to get to know Christ to have a intimate relationship that's my prayer for you that's my goal for these videos that you will come away from this video wanting to have a intimate one-to-one -one relationship with Jesus Christ with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the Trinity and that you want to or you have the hunger to read His Word. That is my purpose. So again, this has been Keeping It Simple in Ministry from Calvary Chapel Bike Truth in Watchville, California. Uh, my name is Marty Rodriguez. If you have any questions about Christianity or about the Bible and you would like us to answer it in a simple way, please send it to my email address which will appear on the screen shortly. So once again, may the love of God shine on you. May He bless you and keep you. And may you know that He's the only one that truly died for you and rose again for you and is ready to accept you into His family. In His name I pray this. So till we see each other again, have a great week.